Are you serious? Are you serious? There is a large asteroid approaching the Earth. October the 12th, 2017, an asteroid is going to come extremely, well, I guess it's going to miss us. I guess. You have to understand, the name of the asteroid is 2012 TC4, and it, they spotted it in 2012. It's been five years headed in this direction. You haven't heard anything about it. BP Earth Watch just broke the news to us yesterday. Uh, and here's the thing. When they first discovered this asteroid, they believed it was going to go whizzing by the Earth very close at around 59,000 miles from the Earth. But as it's gotten closer and closer and closer, they're now starting to get a handle on its trajectory. And they are now saying this asteroid is going to go past the Earth within 4,000 miles from the Earth, which is unbelievably close. Now, the satellites that, that orbit the Earth are usually in around the 20,000 mile range is about how far out they are as they go around the Earth. So this asteroid is going to come in screaming way under the satellites. Way, way. Matter of fact, in the, uh, mos the model that the scientists are using, they even show the asteroid starting to bend as it, gets past, as it goes past the Earth. The gravitational pull of the Earth is going to bring it in even closer. So there's no guarantee that this thing won't hit us. It is approaching. It's on the way. They know the date. They know exactly what's gonna, how, the, what day. The question is just how close will it be? Now, I have watched uh, some of these uh, models before as it relates to uh, NASA. And they've, again, the, the, it's hard to predict an asteroid how close it's going to go by the Earth when it's five years away. That's why the, the, the asteroid Apophis uh, in the year 2029 and then again in the year 2036 when it makes its return and comes by again. In the year 2029, they know it's going to be extremely close. The year 2036, all bets are off. As a matter of fact, now even NASA said they're not sure, you know, we might even have an impact in 2029. It's still out there, folks. It's still 12 years away. So the closer an asteroid gets, the better feel they get on how close it could actually be. And that's what we have here. The name of this asteroid is 2012 TC4, and it's coming by the Earth on October the 12th, 2017. It is absolutely uh, uh, essential that we keep a close eye on us. And so BP Earth Watch is already breaking the news early way out ahead of your mainstream, mainstream media. Now, you'll hear about this. As we get into early October, you can, you can guarantee this. After we've had the, the great solar eclipse, after we've had the September 23rd sign in the heavens, we're going to get start approaching. About the 1st of October, this time 4, miles. Whoops. Uh, we're going to hear early October, I'd say around the 1st of October, you're going to start hearing major networks like CNN, and others in the mainstream, lamestream fake news media, they'll even start to talk about it. What they spin on it, what they say, I don't know. Of course, they're going to wait till then because by then, uh, I think that the scientists will have a whole lot even better, pretty well could pinpoint it to the, to the exact distance by, by the time they get within two weeks. But here's what's happened. Five years ago, when they first found it, they knew it was coming this way and they knew it was going to be close. They come within 50, 59,000 miles. But now they're admitting it's 4,000. And so, wow, this is danger, dangerous. Now, meanwhile, BP Earthwatch is going to join me tonight because we got to deal with Yellowstone. We got to deal with this CME, this explosion on the sun that happened Friday, a solar flare so powerful. I mean, I've seen bigger solar flares, but. Never have I even seen one last for two hours off the sun. Now they have, but boy, it's been several years since we've had one last this long. So the protons, the density, the speed, right now the solar winds are blowing 613 kilometers per second. So they've just picked up unbelievably. 
This uh, we we are just now a pro- we are just now starting to feel the CMEs from this thing. We're in a warning cycle. We've had a 5.5 earthquake in Tonga. We just had a 4.9 out in the Pacific Ocean, and we've had three this afternoon. Three earthquakes right on the Yellowstone, Montana super volcano, including one of them was a 3.4. Three earthquakes that are 2.8. 3.0, 3.4, all right there at the super, uh, the super volcano, right at Yellowstone National Park, Montana. So we're going to talk to BP Earth about that because he's he knows that this is uh, the pressure's building, and we're going to talk to him about this asteroid, and that's asteroid 2012 TC4 that's coming October 12th. Wow, are you serious? Don't miss tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern at my website. 7 p.m. Eastern at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also, new live stream. Also, Roku satellite. Also, Periscope. We'll be live. We'll be live at uh, Blog Talk Radio. We'll be live at my website. We'll be live right here on this YouTube channel. I'm telling you, Jesus said these words. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea, the waves roaring and men's hearts would fail them for fear for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. That's Jesus's words. Then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he told you to look up. Don't dig a bunker in the ground. Don't try to get on a space ark to Mars. But look up because your redemption is drawing nigh. And my question is, are you saved? 